like a gilded pearl glittering against the cobalt waters of the Western Ocean. A city of aristocracy, of finance, of the rule of law, and the justice system. A city where great merchant villas, adorning terraces high in the hills, look down over grimy hovels bordering the kings, crime-infested bazaars, where the abstract corruption of the upper classes translates down to a knife lodged in the ribs of a man, dying in a dark alley. Conan the Sumerian does not notice this divide. The barbarian from the north is busy riding for his life. What the? And another feature of heave, lads! Get us moving now! Now, lads, get us out of here! Wait! Rum! Who invited you aboard? Get us moving. Head for open water. Ignore that order! Stop rowing! We're headed for Kush! And then so am I. Get moving! Have you any silver to pay for passage, Barbarian? I pay with steel. And I promise you, if you don't put distance between us and those guardsmen on shore, I will drench this ship in your blood and that of your crew. <laughs> you heard the swordsman, lads. Get us clear of the harbor. You have my thanks, Master Steersman. And I regret to say, the fresh acquisition of new enemies the Masantia Court Guardsmen. I must choose between your sword and defiance, and their crossbows for aiding in your escape. I think instead, I'll simply choose the much friendlier coasts of Kush, Barbarian. My name is Conan, and I am Sumerian. I am Tito, master of the Argos, and licensed trader on the Kush Argos Sea Road. If I am to be forced to abandon free access to the ports of Argos, Care to tell me just what your business was in Mesantia that inflamed the guardsmen so? I have nothing to conceal. I came to Argo seeking employment, but with peace currently in abundance. Such work is scarce. I admit I am a man of humble upbringing, so I am prone to misunderstand the ways of the city dwellers. And perhaps more than a few quarts of ale have passed my lips. You men must surely know the place. The bone in the throat? That inn down the old wharf road, with the twin redheads working the ale taps? <laughs> As I said, I am just a man. So, my head heavy with ale, and my heart yearning for battle, I had the misfortune to witness an officer in the King's Guard mistreating a young woman, the sweetheart of a soldier, who had the greater misfortune of being deeply in love with this girl, and who ran the captain through right in the middle of the tavern. But Kona... Surely you committed no crime in witnessing this. And surely you were not the only one with eyes on the murder. No crime, but everyone else fled, and I was the fool for staying to finish my drink. More guardsmen appeared, and I, as the sole remaining witness, was hauled off to the clink, where I spent the night behind bars. Come sunrise, I was furious. Were I not sick as a dog, I would have cut a path out of that hole of a prison. Instead, let them haul me into the courts. Apparently, and perhaps this is just how city folk live, but apparently, it's against the law to murder a captain of the guard. Where I come from in the north, you avenge your woman's honor. But I'm straying from the story. They got it into their heads that I was friends with the younger soldier, and their repeated requests for information were starting to edge my nerves. The judge started in with a sermon on my duty to the state and society. I had just arrived in Argos the day before. I was practically drooling at the sight of my confiscated sword. But I choked my ire back and held my peace. A stronger man than I. Until the judge ordered me sent back to the dungeons for contempt of the court. Clearly I was in a room of lunatics, so I... Uh, reacquired my sword and split the judge's skull in two like a melon. <laughs> and that horse, stolen from the chief constable. <laughs> the Sumerian, young in years though he may be, possesses a rare quality of charisma. And the crew of the Argus, having known him only minutes, loved him like a comrade. As a youth dreamed about.
Baylit, this queen of the Black Coast, has gripped Conan's heart.